Shenkei is now in over 150 newspapers or magazines all over the world. And I am the inventor of Shenkei. <laughs> Thank you very much. But my main job is that I'm a math teacher. I learn mathematics class since 1993. I am a teacher, but I don't like teaching. In fact, I don't teach. I had a thought, how can I make children smart? Do you think that children become smart after careful explanation? No, not at all. If it is true, my job is a piece of cake. After careful explanation, children have an illusion that they can understand, but they cannot solve the problem by themselves. Then, how can I make children smart? I found the answer. The essence of mathematics learning is to keep thinking. So the most important job for me is to present interesting math problems to my students that they must figure out for themselves. After that, all I have to do is wait and watch. I call this the art of teaching without teaching. First two years after I founded my class, I had only math lesson for fourth grade to sixth grade of primary school students. Do you know that? There are four kinds of math problems. Easy and fun, easy and no fun, difficult and fun, difficult and no fun. I make only interesting problems. Only interesting problems can make students smart. Almost all problems for fourth grade to sixth grade students were made by me in first two years. I wanted to start something new. Some parents who have third grade students ask me, to set up a class for third graders. I had considered about it for one week. I didn't want to give them math problem. Rather, I wanted to give them materials which they enjoy trial and error. I had such good materials for thinking. At last, I found it. It's a puzzle. I started puzzle class for third grade, February 1995. Third grade students have served in puzzles day by day. They became to think longer and deeper. Puzzles in puzzle magazines were difficult for third grade students. So I made many kinds of puzzles every day but they were not enough. I needed puzzles that used all four operations. At last, I invented Kenken 2003. First Kenken was four by four, addition only. Then I created Kenken with addition only in four by four to nine by nine grid size. Then I created Kenken with variety of combinations of operations, such as addition and subtraction, multiplication only, multiplication and division, and all four operations with symbols. I continued to make Kenken one after another. Finally, I deleted mass operations, which added additional challenge that made students think even harder. All trials were successful. 
one ken ken was was completed. I couldn't stop screaming and dancing. I did it. I did it like Aruki Midis. I have made many many puzzles. Ken Ken is one of them, but Ken Ken is a special one. Ken Ken could make my students thrive dramatically. They never give up. They never compromise. Recently, I have many chances to drink with my former students in Tokyo. By the way, I have classes in Tokyo and Manhattan. I live in Manhattan eight months, live in Tokyo for months in a year. It's exciting and interesting life. My teaching method, the art of teaching without teaching, where students have to struggle to figure out answers by themselves, have made them successful in many different areas in life. They become successful bankers, doctors, teachers, artists, and one of them even become ballerina in famous ballet theater in Europe. The students are so grateful for having learned how to think this way that they remain close to me and keep in touch no matter where they are in the world. All of my former students I reunited spend happy lives. They are enjoying challenging in life just as they enjoyed trial and error in puzzles in their child's food. Why must we learn and study? For what? It's for happy life. Happy life, what is it? Entering high level university, entering good company like Google, and uh, getting good salary like you? Is it always happy life? I don't think so. Happy life is a life that you live as who you truly are. I went to drink with a former student who is the first genera first Ken Ken generation. He, wa he was 20 years old. He goes to the best medical school in Japan. He looked focused and determined towards the goal of his life. To me, Ken Ken clearly supports my students to have happy life. So I am looking forward to drink with more Ken Ken generations. Not only to my students, but Ken Ken also gives me many benefits. Ken Ken made me famous. Ken Ken made me rich. I spent happy life in Tokyo. I didn't need to do something new, but two things changed my soul in 2013. First thing began from one email. I previously was interested in only my classroom and only my students. I received an email from math teacher in Paris American School, Melissa. She said, we are going to Japan with 18 students next April. Can we visit your school with students? I'd like, to, I'd like you to give a lesson to my students. I know your school is near Tokyo Station. I was surprised that she knew about me and my philosophy. I had thought about one week because I cannot speak English very well. That's my serious weak point. 
but I decided to accept them. I believed it must be a beautiful experience for me and for them. Meris and I emailed quite often. They came to Tokyo in May 7, 2013. Three teachers and 80 students. Students were 14 to 16 years old. I put 30 kinds of my books on the table. I told them, I give you a book, pick one, but be careful because you will try to solve it later. Including three teachers, <clears throat> everyone took a book and back to their seats. Then I said, I give you 50 minutes, do as you like. Everybody began to solve. Nobody gave up. Melissa said to me, it's really amazing. They continue thinking such a long time. I answered, it's the power of my book. Interesting problems can catch students' hearts easily and never release. The students of Paris wanted to meet Japanese students. So I sent an email to my former students. 17 students joined the event. Second stage was a puzzle contest with my new puzzles that no one had ever seen before. Three talented former students had a fierce dead heat and one of them became a champion. It was really thrilling. Third stage was an exchange meeting of one to one. The students of Paris talked slowly in the beginning, but a few minutes later, they began to talk with normal speed. I thought my former students cannot understand but I let them as it is. After that, most of my former students who joined the event went to study abroad. Final stage was karaoke. We moved to karaoke box and we sang only one song, You've Got a Friend by Carol King. Nobody knew this beautiful song. So I sent everybody the URL of YouTube. We will sing this song at the end of the, of the event. Practice more than 100 times. We could sing aloud together. And I sent off Paris team at the station. It was one of the most beautiful day in my life. It was also the day I had the first time interested in students other than my own. Five days later, Melissa gave me a heartwarming email. She said, it was the most memorial day like a dream visiting Japan this time. I appreciate you from bottom of my heart. I thought all students in American school come to Japan. I will entertain you. This was an eye-opening experience to me. Here is a group of fashionable students who seems completely uninterested in mass loved and benefited from my puzzle. And I wondered whether or not same would hold true in other countries where students have less opportunity. I had the chance to visit 
a primary school in Chennai, Thailand. A month after Melissa and her students came to see me. I had a plan to teach them how to solve Kenken and how to make Kenken. I told them that if they make more than 100 Kenken, I will bring them to the publishing company to publish the book. All the loyalty of that book will be donated to the school. So I went to Thailand and I had 90 minutes lessons to fifth graders and sixth graders. Before the trip, I was warned they cannot even calculate. So I was very nervous, but it was not true. They enjoyed Kenken just like my students. Some of them were much smarter than I expected. They could solve Kenken and they could make Kenken. I thought that the schools all over the world call me. I will go to entertain you. These two things changed my thought dramatically. I was waiting and waiting, but uh, nothing happened. I needed to grow myself and I needed to challenge. Where should I go next to the center of Japan near Tokyo station? Where is the center of the world? One idea came to me. It's very, very dangerous idea. It's Manhattan, New York, near Grand Central Station. November 20, 2013, I decided to move my classroom from Tokyo to Manhattan. The biggest benefit from Ken Ken was that Ken Ken brought me to New York City. I moved to New York City February 10th, 2015 with green card category E11. Before that, I had an interview in the United States Embassy in Tokyo. The counselor said to me, your visa, wonderful, your visa is wonderful. I couldn't understand at all. I checked up category E11 on internet. Immigration department said it's for individual in extraordinary abilities in the art science, education, business, or athletics. Unbelievable. It's because of thinking. I am an ordinary man. I don't have any talent. Thank you, Kenken. I feel Kenken has unlimited possibility. It's a dream of mine to create online head-to-head -head competition where students from Thailand or Paris or United States can create their own Kenken, solve each other's Kenken, and compete in the way where language isn't a barrier. Then Kenken will be a true entertainment international sorry then Kenken will be a true international learning tool by the way Kenken was originally handmade by me but for the mass markets a Kenken generating program was required Kenken puzzle company 
contracted with the pioneer in computer chess development and long time president of the Computer Games Association, AI expert, Dr. David Levy. Dr. Levy interviewed me extensively and applied this knowledge engineering to help design the algorithm that is known as the generator. The generator benefits that there is only one solution to each puzzle. Sometimes solver contacts us, believing they, they have found the flow in a puzzle. But up to now, no puzzle generated by the generator has ever been found to have an error or alternative solution. Now, I show you how to make Kenken. Before that, let's go over the rule of Kenken. This is... Switch to the This is Kenken, four by four, addition only. You can use one, two, three, four. Every row, every column, one, two, three, four. Do not put same number on same line, okay? The small number means sum of the numbers. One cage, sum of number. Let's try. Two number make six. You can use one, two, three, four. Then what is two number? Four and two. That's right. Very smart. Two and four or four and two. Then two number make seven. What is two numbers? Three and four. Oh, that's right. How cute you are. <laughs> Three and four. Here it. Two, four, or four, two. Anyway, what is this? Three. Three. That's right. Then four. Four. Here is seven. Here is four. Then what is this? Three. Three. That's right. What is this? Four. Four. Then two, four, four, two. What is this? Here. Two, that's right. Two, three, four, then one. one. Two number, sum of two number is four. Here is one. What is this? Three. Three. And uh, what is this? Four. Four. Three, two, four, then one. one. <laughs> sum of two number is three. Here is one. What is this? Two, two, three, four, then one. one. Four, one, three, then two. two. Uh, here is seven, here is three. What is this? Four. Four. And here. Three. Three. Three, two, four, then one. one. And two. Perfect. Wow. Well done. Very good. Solving Kenken is very inter interesting, but uh, making Kenken much more interesting. I always make Kenken from the answer. I will make block here. Sum of three number one, two, three, six. Second block here. Four plus three equals seven. Third block here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, four. Next block here. Three and four equal seven. 
makes the block here. 4 plus 2 equals 6. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 3 plus 4 equals 7. This is Ken Ken problem and its answer. Now I delete answer number. Then one Ken Ken baby just be born. <laughs> it's my baby. How cute you are. <laughs> Let's try to solve. Okay. Uh, which number do you choose first? Seven. Oh, okay. Uh, four? That's right. Three number make four. Only one combination. What set is the number? One. One, two, one. Here is three. What is this? Two. Two. Then one. one. Uh, sum of four numbers is always ten because every row, every column has one, two, three, four ones. From here to here, ten. From here to here, six. Then what is this? Four. four. Then three. And uh, one, two, then. Three, that's right. And two, two and one. one. One, two, three, then four, four and three. three. Three, two, one, then four and two and three and four. Perfect. Well done. I will introduce Ken Ken Checker. This is Ken Ken Checker. Nobody can buy this soft. It's only for me. Four by four addition. Two number make seven. Two number make three number make four. Two number make seven. Three number make six. Two number make six. Two number make Three and two number make seven and check only one solution. It's complete. Is there anybody who wants to try to make Ken Ken? I'll make one. Yeah. Which do you like four by four or five by five? Four by four. Really? <laughs> really? I'm, I'm new. <laughs> One moment. <laughs> Would you please? <laughs> Make, make it. Make it, yes. <laughs> okay. 
can you draw it anywhere? No. Yeah, that's right. Finish? Yeah. Very high speed. Let's check. <laughs> Eight. Five. Seven. And seven. Five. Five, three. Let's check his click <laughs> answer. Everybody, attention! Check. Oh, congratulations! Only one solution completed. My can't tell baby was born. Finished. <laughs> no, <laughs> so. <clears throat> Thank you for cooperation. There are three ways to enjoy Kenke to solve, to make, and to serve to somebody. The most important thing is to enjoy challenging and thinking. It doesn't matter whether you can solve or not. It doesn't matter whether you can understand or not. Continue to think long and deep. The toughest rival is not the person next to you, it's yourself in yesterday sometimes people ask my people ask my autograph in my book i always like like this renew your best record day by day next to my name i believe math is puzzle puzzle is fun then math is fun. It's the best entertainment to progress yourself. I believe if the people all over the world can think with their own brain, world peace can be resolved. Good luck, good people. Thank you for listening.